The council is where Jeffrey Thompson has apparently also been giving a lot of money, and our reporter Patrick Madden reported in particular on contributions to at-large council member Vincent Orange in the last election. Patrick, could you talk a little bit about that? Sure, uh, Kojo. Well, what I reported, what initially, my initial story, the initial focus were, it was on these, these money orders that the, there was about 26 of them that had come into Vincent Orange's at-large uh, election. This is uh, 2011. And it really was, it, it didn't make a lot of sense when you looked at where these money orders were coming from, California, Georgia. Um, and the names, they, they did, there was no clear connection to, um, to anyone in the district. So after doing some, uh, some, some digging, you know, I found an obituary that actually linked all of these names to... Yeah, I was fascinated by that. How yeah. how did that work out? How did the obituary link the name? <laughs> well, what it did, it was <laughs> wall bearers. <laughs> it essentially listed this family in Georgia, all these different donations to um, Jeannie Jeannie Clark Harris, who is an associate of Tom, uh, Thompson and has been sort From of time to time a spokesperson, right? And has been wrapped up in these um, in this investigation. And so once that connection was made, some of the other pieces started to fall in place. There were some other companies that. Um, had been linked to Thompson based on the address that are listed on their registration documents. So, l uh, long story short, all of these s s money orders came into Orange over a two-day period, and they looked they looked suspicious. And when I initially raised this uh, to Orange, he defended the contributions. Uh, there were calls for him to release copies of these money orders, and he initially refused. And then, um, after a Washington Post editorial made that call again. He spent the weekend going over these money orders and found that yes. Should we recall that Vincent Orange is a CPA? Is he yes, a, and a, yeah, a lawyer an and a yes. yeah. And he's he, not an yeah. expert. He will tell you. <laughs> right. Well, basically, what he found was that a lot of these money orders had sequential serial numbers. There were very similar, nearly identical handwriting styles. Uh, and as I believe the city papers also reported, they were purchased at the same, you know, at the very, you know, the same post office, Western Union branches. So it just a lot of questions. And the big question is, well, were these straw donations being used to sort of skirt contribution limits?